Hello over there, I am Giant Grodel with my Pokemon Yellow. Now today might be a short part, because I'm, all I'm really going to do is I'm going to go through the Goat's Cave and I'm going to get the HM05 Flash by using Cut on that tree on that tree after, on a tree, uh, n uh, near a house, and then, uh, in one of those transitional buildings, Professor Oaks, one of Professor Oaks' aides will uh, be there and give it, give them, uh, give me HM05 Flash if I've caught 10 Pokemon. And I've caught 13 now, so I forgot to actually show this right after the, um, sh we battled Sean off the, on the SSN, so I apologize for that, because I forgot to show how many Pokemon I had at that point. So actually my account, my, I think my Pokedex at that point though, after that battle with Sean on the SSN was 11, because I remember I evolved, uh, I evolved, uh, Lavender, um, from a Nidorino to a Needle King in the last part by using a Moonstone. And then I also caught, just got a Squirtle from that, uh, Officer. I guess you could tell it's, I guess you could say it's Officer Jenny or, according to the anime, like, when Ash got his Squirtle, Officer Jenny was in the episode. It was, I think, titled Here Comes the Squirtle Squad, which is a pretty good episode. I liked it. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I have 13 Pokemon, so I have three, I have three extra Pokemon that I didn't need, uh, to get this HM, which you only need 10 Pokemon if you, uh, you only need to catch 10 Pokemon for the HM. So, yeah. I also, uh, uh, I put Lavender in the PC, and I put it, I, uh, withdrew Paris, cause, you know, Paris knows cut. And, uh, I also withdrew TMs 11 and 12, because those were Water Gun and Bubble Beam. So this one is Water Gun, right? Team 11? Nope, it's Bubble Beam, of course. Okay. Did you Bubble Beam into Pokemon? Yes, of course. The only Pokemon I couldn't win is Gamera. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna just teach Bubble Beam and Water Gun to, uh, Gamera, cause I'm kinda lazy for Gamera to, uh, learn Water Gun. And plus, there's actually a limit of how many items you can put in your PC. So that's why I'm kinda clearing out some of the teams I could use now. And they're not really long term, actually, cause these two moves aren't in, this fun aren't in Gamera's final move set, actually. But, uh, it'll take, it'll save some space on my PC without them having to just sit there the whole game, really. So I thought it was a good idea. Plus, also, after, um, after this episode, or part, I should say, um, I'm gonna be training up Gamera up to, like, all 15 or so. Uh, so yeah. Cause it's a little behind in the levels, if they minute. It's like 11 levels below Tabasco, which is my second lowest level Pokemon. But I'll make the way up there. So, uh, let's get rid of, a uh, tail up, I guess. Yeah, for water gun. So there we go. And you know what? I'm not going to use repels because I feel like this part will be really short if I use repels on the Diglett's Cave. So I'm going to just like mosey on through it on my bicycle, I should say. So yeah, here's, here's Diglett's Cave. I should talk to that guy first, though, just to show him off. Uh, wh what a surprise. Diglett's dug this long tunnel. It goes right to Ver Viridian City. Cool. That's awesome and good to know. Although I already knew that. Let's hop on our bicycle. So yeah, we're gonna just show wild Pokemon battles, I guess. Why not? So here's Diglett, okay. It's level 20, okay. So it's 10 levels higher than Gamera. Double the level. Um, let's actually rearrange some of these moves. Ah, that actually worked. Okay, and one switch. Nice. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna switch out to, uh, Brood, I guess. Let's go for the vinyl, I guess. Ah, I messed it up. Here we go. Let's go for the vinyl. Let's get scratch on us, okay? So let's switch your trick to help get a Gamera some HP or not HP but experience. Get Growl or just boot its attack, of course it did. But it takes up the dig like cool. Nice. Ah, dang it. Another fall Pokemon battle. Now this could be Diglett's or Doug Trios. That's like the only two Pokemon in this cave. Cause it's a Diglett's cave, really, with a couple of Doug Trios. This is Diglett's level 17. Okay, let's switch out to, uh, Brute Root again. Ah, oh, yeah. This part's gonna be pretty relaxing on my part because all I, I get to show off all Pokemon battles, I guess, and I just like to have fun, I guess. Not that I'll never have fun when recording videos. No, that's never the case. I love uh, doing gameplay videos on my channel and stuff. It's pretty fun. I like it. I've been doing ga gaming videos on my channel since I was like, right before I turned 13. 
I was 12 when I was recording my first ever YouTube video, but I didn't get uploaded till the day after I turned 13. Fun fact! Okay, yeah. So, um, yeah. So, Gamer gained, I think, went to level 11 in the last battle, which is nice. So, that technically means two Diglets, depending on the level 2, will uh, equal a level. Maybe it's three Diglets now to get to level 12. I don't know. They don't show the experience bar, you know, in Gen 1. They didn't really show it or have it, really. Uh, just out yesterday, how much does a bubble beam do? Scratch is gonna probably do a lot though. Okay, one third. I was expecting like half from that diglet for that scratch. Okay, so, yeah, um, the bubble beam does, oh shoot. Now I use dig. Crap. Uh. Let's, let's sacrifice Paris. <laughs> Sorry, Paris. You get some screen time though. Yeah, Paris is scree cry. Sounds like a legendary Pokemon cry. Yeah, I guess just kind of guess. Help, uh, Gamera get his first win, but with help of his Pokemon and stuff. He just cut again. Okay, of course he missed his dig. It went underground. Are they gonna split the experience? I don't want Paris and. Gamera to split the experience, jeez. Whatever, whatever, I, whatever man, that's, okay, whatever. So many times I've said that word, the W word that I've been saying, just now. Dang, I skipped through some of your dogs, sorry. Okay, yeah, I went to Rock Tunnel, but it's dark and scary. If a Pokemon, if a, if a Pokemon's flash could light up, light it up. Yeah, if a Pokemon's flash could light up, that'd be nice. Let's use the... Uh, Cut on this tree. I think there's a couple items down here too. I'll have to check for them. Here's the Pokemon Professor uh, Professor Aid I was talking about. Here, I'm maybe I'm Oak's Professor. I'm a Professor Oak's Aid. I think there's only one of them actually, because uh, he said Aid instead of Aids. I guess. If you call ten Pokemon, can ten, ten kinds of Pokemon, I'm supposed to give you an HM05. So Stephen, have you caught at least ten kinds of Pokemon? Yes, I have. Great, you've caught thirteen kinds of Pokemon. Congratulations. Here you go. Yeah. Chip Flash, it's up even the darkest of dungeons. Now, in Fire and Leaf Green, Paris can learn Cut and Flash, which is nice. But that's why I caught Fairy, the Clefairy. It's because Clefairy can learn Flash by HM. Yeah. So an HP up. Okay, so let's see who needs it the most. Stuck here, city. Um, let's see. Uh, guess Storm again. It's only has 52 HP. Guess Storm should have like 53 HP right now, right? Yeah, 53 HP instead of 52. Yeah, cool. I like the music here. Okay, there's another item. It's a Moonstone. Another Moonstone. Awesome. And then you can use cut like right here to get back to Viridian City, which I'll show off right now, I guess. Yeah. So yeah, we're magically in Viridian City again, yay. So I'm going to actually use the Pokemon Center and uh, heal my Pokemon, actually. And I'm going to also uh, put away uh, HM05 Flash. Well, actually, I'll get Fairy up for that, too. So I'll do a couple of things, actually. So yeah, and we put the Moonstone on the PC too, so I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, so now I have Fairy with me, so I'm going to use the HM05 on fla Flash on Fairy, teach it Flash. Yeah. There we go. Fairy Lane Flash, awesome. So now we get that out of the way, I'm going to actually put HM05 in the PC, in my PC now, actually, and deposit it as an item. And I'm also going to uh, put Fairy in the PC and exchange it for Paris again, because we need Paris to get back to, uh, to um, Diglett's Cave and to backtrack I guess you could say so I'll be right back you guys see you guys in a second okay so I put a fairy in the PC like I said when put the HM05 in my PC and those PC I put fairy in there and then I also uh brought back Paris as you see right here yeah there we go cut and we're gonna make our way back to the cave okay Paris hacked away with cut awesome that's what it says when you chop down a bush or whatever okay so yeah we gotta show what Pokemon battles again yay Cool, let's see if is it gonna be a Diglett or a Dugtrio? That's a Diglett, okay, cool. It's level 19. Let's see if we can take this thing out to dinner. Ha ha ha. Yeah, Diglett's attack, uh, made our, made Gamera's attack fall. But, uh, we're still in good shape. 
Yeah, that's cool, but awesome. I'll use dig. Of course it did. Can it take a dig, honestly? Because it, does it, it will take 31 HP out of Gamera. Okay, no, it will be close to catch the, yeah, fainting Gamera, but not, but not all the way, actually, that's, which is good. Gamera's in the level 12, awesome. Yeah, let's just do the switcheroo trick from now on, I guess. See, here's another diglet. Yeah, Gamera is low on HP. Let's get a brute root then. Let's go for the Vine Whip, I guess. The goats think they're so smart sometimes, don't they? Okay, yeah. I think with me being on my bicycle, it raises the chances of wild encounters, but that's okay. It's whatever. This is a chill part, I guess you could say. This dick goes all 18. Cool. Let's see, got a brute root then. Let's go for the vine whip, I guess. Here we go, Coco. Nice, I'll take it. Give him a good level 13, yay! Of course, there's like two more, two more like pivots or movements down with the down on the D-pad, basically. Jeez. So, game is in the level 13. Awesome. Let's go to Brute Root again, because Brute Root's a guy that we go to. I go to guy when it comes to fainting uh, Diglets for the time being, because Gamma. Isn't that high of a level, but that'll soon change. Again, uh, off screen for the next part, you'll see that, uh, you'll see that Gamera is gonna be level 15. And I won't be, I'm only raising up to level 15 because the level 16 evolves. And I wanna show that in, like, in a part, of course, because Squirtle evolving the War Turtle is pretty cool. So yeah, this is probably our last Diglett that we're gonna, well, encounter in this cave, I should say, Diglett's cave that we're gonna encounter on screen at least. Let's go to Brute Root, because you know Brute Root's a guy, he's just the guy, the, the, the guy, the go-to guy, man. It's just, he's just so reliable right now. He's just on fire. Okay, so this Diglett's level 15, cool. One Vital Whip takes it out, awesome, because it's super effective. So, yeah. I'm gonna go back and heal real quick. Okay, so let's make our way back uh, to Suwon City, but not quite all the way, I should say. So I'm gonna actually show this, just in case for the people who don't know where to go next after the third gym badge. Because I bet there's people like first comers who played Pokemon who don't know the way. But there's plenty of YouTube videos on walkthroughs and stuff on how to get through it. But if you chose my walkthrough guide, thank you. Here we are on the underground path. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Let's check out Pikachu's doing. It's always good to check on Pikachu. Yeah. Pikachu's happy. He, he, he's jumping up and down. It is jumping up and down. Cause no, you know, all the Pokemon in Gen 1 were genderless. Except for, I guess, I, I, I guess if, in, except for like Nidor and male, Nidor and female. I think those are the two, the two exceptions. If you ask me at least. So uh, yeah, we could actually cut down this tree right here if we wanted to to get to Swan City without having to go all the way around and hop over that ledge. But uh, we're headed off to Rock Tunnel actually, which is actually east of uh, Swan City and it's right here. So all you have to do is cut down this tree right here. So cut, yeah. Yeah, nice. But again, I'm going to, uh, again, uh, Raise Gamma up to level 15, like I said, off screen. Right now it's like level 13, right? Yeah, level 13. Okay, cool. So, uh, next part you'll see Gamma is level 15 and we'll take on this route, uh, east of, uh, Suwon City. So I'll see you guys. And then my next part, so this has been on my Pokemon Yellow Walk the Guy part. And next part we'll just do just that, take on this route, and hopefully make it to Rock Tunnel. So yeah, so this has been Janko again. I would like to then wish you goodbye. And I'll see you guys next part my Pokemon Yellow Walkthrough Guide.